All right, now the wearing of masks in public spaces is no longer mandatory in the Republic of Namibia. President Hage Kenob uh, confirmed this on Tuesday. Does this mean Namibia is winning its fight against the coronavirus pandemic? Let's go to the uh, capital, Vintuk, to speak to the health minister, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, who can tell us a bit more. Doctor, thank you very much for your time here on All Angles. Now, firstly, uh, tell us a little bit of what motivated your decision to get rid of the mask. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. And uh, I just want to make one correction. We did not decide to get rid of the masks. All right. Uh, what, what the current situation now is that since the beginning of the pandemic, uh, the wearing of masks was mandatory. In other words, everybody in public place is expected to wear a mask. Mm. And if you are not uh, wearing a mask, then the police has the authority to arrest you or to impose sanctions. Now, uh, the epidemiological situation in Namibia currently is such that it's quite favorable. And therefore, in the spirit of relaxation of some measures, we also decided that the wearing of masks should not be mandatory, but it should be uh, any, any, any citizen must feel the need to put on the mask. We did not get rid of the mask. People are still continuing to wear the mask, but we have just decriminalized the wearing of masks so that everybody uses common sense and conscience to ensure that uh, the person needs to wear a mask once in public space. Mm, all right. Thank you, Minister, for that clarity. Now, I believe that your numbers uh, at some point around June last year were skyrocketing, going at about 30,000 per day. Uh, but now you have improved quite a lot, I believe, to about 14 cases or less in a day now. Yes, that's correct. During the month of June, uh, we were at the peak of the uh, third wave, which was uh, driven by Delta virus. We were uh, experiencing quite high number of infection on a daily basis. Currently, as you rightly says, there are days when we have less than 10, and there are days where we have a little bit more than 10, but we have not uh, reached the uh, 20 uh, uh, cases per day, uh, and, and uh, we have not relaxed on the testing. We are doing the testing throughout the way we, we used to, to, to do. And for the past nine days, we have not recorded uh, any death due to COVID-19. Therefore, uh, it is felt that in order also to, to encourage the public to always be cooperative, it is, it is under the circumstances we need to relax some of the measures. Mm. What do you attribute this to? I mean, that, that's, uh, that's something that uh, I think the entire world wants to finally hear, that we don't record any deaths anymore, that we record uh, very less cases a day, uh, etc. So what do you attribute this to in Namibia? Well, um, we have, I must say that we have just emerged from the fourth wave, uh, which peaked in, the, in, in December, on the 19th of December, and gradually we have been um, uh, recording less and less cases. We have uh, actually strengthened the, the, the measures, and for the measures to, to, to work, the public must internalize them, because it is not possible to police each and every person, but the consciousness of individuals must be there that when a person leaves the house, already remember that I must have my mask on, I must take with me the sanitizer, and I, wherever I go into the public place, I must make sure that I observe the required distances. Quite a number of people in Namibia have uh, been vaccinated, so that's also a strong element which adds to the to the number, and quite a number of them have experience in one way or another 
the infection such that there is also some degree of natural immunity. Although our vaccination coverage is not high, but we believe that a lot of people have already experienced the infection, which have also um, increased their natural immunity. And therefore, the number of susceptible individuals uh, may be becoming less and less. Mm. Uh, tell me uh, about the schools, Minister. Um, are you also saying that uh, masks rather are not mandatory at schools as well? I'll give you an example. In South Africa, we have schools that are, uh, you know, too full in capacity in terms of classes. And, um, you know, although we've gone back to a full timetable, pupils and teachers are still expected to wear masks because of how many of them are in a space at a certain time. So what would happen at schools? Are you also telling them at the schools that they can choose whether they want to or not want to wear a mask? No. Uh, when we announce the new measures, uh, specifically we address that part of the schools, mm -hmm. that during the class, both the teachers and the learners and the students, they must put on their masks. So that is a recommendation we have given to them, and we know that from the uh, experience, they will continue to do so. We also went to a great length to explain that what we are saying, we are not saying that the masks are no longer necessary, they are no longer to be, to, to be used, but we said, we remove that element of criminal that once you don't have it, you will be arrested or you will be sanctioned. But let it be the conscience of a person to put on the mask. Uh, during the briefing, I gave an example that when, you, when it rains, you obviously take on your umbrella to protect yourself against the rain. So the government does not need to legislate to say, when it's raining, we pass a law that everybody must use an umbrella. So the same applies, the same logic applies here, that you are in the rain, and then when it rains, you must put on your, 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 your umbrella. The same, you are in COVID-19, you must put on your mask. All right. Understood, Minister. Thank you for that. Uh, just very quickly, my last question is with regards to producing a negative PCR test for COVID-19. There's a rule, I believe, if you could just clarify for us, that in Namibia, a person who can prove that they are fully vaccinated no longer needs to, prove, no longer needs to give you a, a test that shows that they are negative. Am I correct? You are absolutely correct. According to the, our new measures now, Anybody, any traveler who comes to Namibia must produce a valid authentic vaccination card that indicates, indicates that the person is fully vaccinated. In the absence of that, the person must produce a, a negative PCR test valid, not, which is not older than 72 hours. But those who are fully vaccinated, they are, they are welcome to enter into the country without the requirement to produce the PCR negative test results. Mm. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time here on All Angles. Um, that is the Minister of Health in Namibia, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula.